Yes, my master. you here from Machinars and today we are going to do the movie poster effect. This is a parallax effect and uh, I have to say something first. It's almost impossible to achieve that professional result of the industry because Caden Life is a video editor and not a visual effects software like After Effects or Nuke or Natron or Blender or whatever. It's just a video editor with some tools to help us in this process. Okay, now with that said, you need a poster first, okay? Or maybe your image. You can find a PNG image in the Pixabay or maybe you can create your own. I will just take this poster from Boba Fett. I don't know if it's the pronunciation is correct, but it's from Star Wars. And then here we need to separate all these objects in the poster. And I'm not gonna show you how to do. I use GIMP to make this. I just remove the background and separate this two characters and the spaceship and then I remove all this text because we are going to create inside of the cutting life. It's very easy but it takes a little time to make everything and sometimes you have to rebuild everything. Like in the spaceship I have to remake this bottom part and also in the background I have to almost recreate everything in the background. So nothing to do here, nothing to tell. You just remove and fix the image. As many objects you have, it will be more realistic, but you're gonna have also more work. So uh, you can limit yourself maybe two, three or four layers. This is a very beginning version. It's a, a very easy tutorial. It's not hard, it's just hard work. I separate everything and then I erase all this background and then I separate also the background because we need it. I recreate the sun. You don't have to be perfect because we are bringing back these objects later so it will cover in the same way. But it's good if you have more space to work in the animation. And then we need to resize this background and extend it because it's not the size of the camera. It depends what kind of project you are doing. Maybe you are doing something for Instagram, for stories, so you don't need to extend because it's already vertical. But if you want something in like 720p or maybe 1020p, 4K, you have to extend this background.
and I also recreate some clouds because we lose it and we don't want this very blurry image. I take a few time also in the sand and I crop my image to 4K, make some other adjustments and export all these four layers and I rename layer 1 is the background, layer 2 is the spaceship, layer 3 is my first character and layer 4 is my second character. Okay, and then we are moving to Kaden Life. I will create a new project. Let's see what's, what we have here. Okay, it's look the same. That's fine. 720p. And I will bring my material. Yeah, it's loading. Six jobs. Okay, it finished the jobs. And we know nothing about this version, so I will already save this project. We have the audio, we have the elements, it's just dust and fog, and we have our layers. Also, I bring this texture from textures.com. And I will start with this background. Let's zoom in. My movie poster will have five seconds. I will not change, just five seconds, okay. So let's bring the other layers. We need more tracks. We have the background, the ship, the first character, and the second character. Okay. Let's create a title, MOBA, and separate it because I need to adjust the second word. So I need it lonely. I will give more letter spacing. Also change the font. I don't know what font should I use. Let's see. Free sons. Yep, free sons. And we need it bold. I want this word the same size of the top one. Maybe 16. Middle. And the size is fine. Let's create this title. Also bring to the timeline. And now we are going to start with the background. We need a transform. And a lens effect. I will use the lens correction keyframeable. Now, the transform for all these layers will finish with the default size. So last keyframe, and we also need the animation. So maybe one and a half, two. We create a new keyframe, and this first keyframe is the main point of the movement. So we, we make this for the background, maybe 160, it's too much, 30. And from this keyframe to the end, it's just a small movement, just to keep things moving. And then we make almost the same. For the last keyframe, is the default options. And from this one to the end, it's just a small movement in the center correction. So maybe 4900. In the first one, we have the big distortion. Okay, now, of course, it depends on the lens you are using the camera. But most of the times, the things near to the camera distort more than the objects far from the camera and also the objects far from the camera move a little bit slower than the objects in the front of the camera so now we just need to copy this one and we are going to paste to all these other layers and only for the title we're going to make a different transform. We can use this one, but we are going to reset and then recreate again. So the last keyframe, we need to change the size also because it's too big, maybe seven, maybe less. And also these letters is to space. This one. 
going to the middle and this one middle also yeah update and we're back to the game this is the end position we bring a bit to the bottom something like here and in the first frame we need it outside of the screen in the y-axis and it's almost the same from here we create this middle keyframe we make the same movement to the y-axis sorry the same movement from the last position so it's 400 then 400 and also 400 for this one and you have to resize this one yeah, I'm making a mistake probably but let's bring this one down to 80 and then yeah that's okay I just make mistake in the first keyframe. Okay, let's on this timeline. We want this title just from maybe here to the end. So it's a little bit smaller. Let's bring this keyframe right here. Maybe just only 10 frames. Yes, 10 frames. And this one, maybe two. And we jump one frame to the right and cut Shift R delete this last part and our title it's almost done because we need to fix also this lens so I will make the distortion first for the spaceship because we need a base the spaceship we can distort to maybe 400 yep and then 450 and yeah, that's fine and also the size we need it bigger near to the camera and this is our base all these other objects needs to be more distorted and bigger related each other so this one is 200 only this frame is almost the same almost never change and the distortion 350 okay it's not 350 here here is 4 and here is 350 And then our first character is very big, 300 maybe, yes, very near to the camera. The distortion also, 300, and then 3.5, 250. And you have the movement already. It's very nice if you have movement between these two keyframes also. So what we can do here? We can go back to the spaceship only. And in the transform, we remove this one, but remember the size. And then in the first keyframe, I'll bring just a bit to the left. bring that keyframe again and it's 105 then you have this smooth movement from the ship going to the top and we can do the same also for these other layers maybe maybe here this second character right here you can leave a bit bigger also 
and we make the same as the ship. Remember this value? Remove the keyframe in the first frame. We can make like uh, in the X to the right, not too much. And you don't need to be fixed to these values. For example, maybe I can give like 115 and it's different from the ship, but you don't go too much because if you change a lot, these objects will start to have some weird movement. And in the first tractor right here, second tractor, I don't know anymore. We also go a little bit to the left. Be careful to not review these errors. Don't forget to remove this keyframe. Let's remove it. Okay, change already and bring it back. I just removed to hold the movement from this keyframe to the last keyframe. And here is 105, but this one is 115. I changed, remember? We have to change also to this one. Maybe 30, 130, and it's fine. But we need to go back now to the right because it's revealing part of this chart right here. And we also can bring back this one. Okay, let's see what we have. Yes, this is good. Let's bring back the title. And now we know this character here is the main character. It has this size, 300, so the title needs to be more than 300. 310. And I want it to start... Okay very close to the camera and we have this image texture it's for the title we can copy the same effect from the title to the texture Okay guys, I have my first crash in this new version it takes a long time already, it's okay but let's keep on going I have the texture, I have the title, we have to make a composition between these two. So I add my composition and I change it to burn, no it's not burn, it's a dodge. Yep, color dodge. And if you want, you can bring the curves and make some adjustments to remove a bit of this texture. Okay, it's fine. It's not so fine, but whatever. Now, this background is not moving. It's very far from the camera. It's very slow. So we bring this fog. Okay, let's create a new track. Bring the fog. Cut. And we are going to make a composition. But first, as you see, the fog is upside down. I want to make a rotation first. So I make 108 degrees and also maybe a little bit of the size. Align to the bottom. And this fog, we are going to create a composition. It's a alpha, addition alpha. And now we have this background with sun particles. It's moving a lot, it's very nice. And also we have this dust right here and it has an audio track together, I don't know why. Let's just remove this audio track, go to the top and insert a new track. I need two pieces of this dust, so I will cut already here and here and delete this part and this part because because we want these two to be random. And this one is just a small sparks, small white spots. We have the blue screen, a skin, and uh, need the threshold. The threshold could go to zero. And we need the box blur. 
and you can see already it's very near to the camera and our last effect is the colorize from the color and image correction and here we bring down a little bit this light it's more easy to see if I bring the black background yes with the saturation all to the top and the HUE we go right here is more or less like orange yeah there we go it's like a uh, dust from sand it's like it's the same as in the background and that's why we need two because it's very soft very hard to see so we bring a new track again with this other part and just copy and paste the effects now I have lots of particles moving in the front of the camera if you want you can also animate these particles to be like distorted by the lens I am not gonna do that but I want to fix this text because I don't like this one it was not like this first time I did, but you can bring just an average blur and it's one by one, zero by zero, before the curves. Let's see the burn. Yeah, the burn do not affect. Let's try overlay. Multiply. Oh, multiply is very good. Oh, multiply is very nice, guys. Two by two in average blur. Let's see here in the curves, bring back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's give some contrast. Now we have more control. Okay, it's nice for me here. Okay guys, for the audio we have no secrets. We just bring the background here. Nothing to do here in the voice. And I want the voice to start when the title appear. So it's like here. Yep, and only this. And I'm already done. There's nothing to do anymore. This is the base of the techniques. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something new here. And uh, I'm gonna make more tutorial like this. I want to make some mixed tutorial, maybe using Blender with the 3D to compose everything together. I don't know, I'm just planning. So if you want to know more about it, just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because it's really hard to make these kind of tutorials. Give me the thumbs up and I see you in the next videos.